In this video I want to show how the Microtracer user interface and its communication to the, to the COM port can be tested. So the program has already been installed and started and I have two COM ports on this computer. COM port 1 is the standard RS232 uh, serial port which is still present on this rather old Dell laptop and COM port 2 is a USB to uh, serial adapter. COM port 1 is open, so not connected to anything, while the uh, emulator circuit is connected to a connector where pins 2 and 3 have been connected together and also some of the other pins have been wired to bypass the handshake signals of the communication protocol. So the first thing that we do is we press the debug command button, so the debug, debug uh, window pops up. The first thing that you can do if you're not using COM port 1 is to set the COM port. I will start with COM port number 1 and then I will issue a ping command. What the ping command does is it sends uh, two command strings to the micro tracer to send back, to read out all the analog signals and to send back a string with those values. It starts to do that by sending a zero, so it first sends a zero zero command string which sets uh, some of the uh, things like uh, the gain amplifiers. It starts with a zero and what it then expects is a zero echo back. But since it doesn't receive this character within two seconds, it gives a timeout signal here and the recommendation to fix the problem and to restart the measurement. So when you see this happening, you, been, you are already for 99% sure that uh, everything is functioning perfectly. If you also have the emulator circuit or the, uh, the RS2, uh, the, the circuit which connects the pins 2 and 3 connected, like I have on port 2, what you will then see when you give the command is that it sends two uh, command strings, a 00, 00 string and a 50 string, and that these strings are echoed. And when you see these strings echoed, you are sure that all the communication, both the interface, uh, both the user interface as well as the communication function perfectly. So it has now detected that there is no command result string coming back within 10 seconds, also giving resulting in a timeout error.